a very useful uh, little bit of kit is knowing how to find a unit vector in a particular direction. Okay, so let's say um, we had a vector that was let's let's call it a. Okay, and let's say this vector was three uh, minus seven two. Okay, and this vector, as we know, has a particular magnitude. It has a length that goes with it. But let's say that I want to find a vector that has length 1 that goes in exactly the same direction. Okay, So we have this vector A. Okay, And we actually want this vector that's going in exactly the same direction that has unit length. So this is actually of length 1. Okay, but is parallel to this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to denote that as a hat. Okay, we're going to put this little kind of, uh, it's almost like an inequality sign on top of the A and usually refer to it as a little hat that goes on it. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, what we could do is we could work out what the current length of A is. And then, once we know how long A is, in order to get it of length 1, I can divide it up into as many, well, the length of A. So if this was of length 8, for example, I could divide it up into 8 pieces, and 1 eighth of that length, of that vector rather, will be the one that I want. So I'm going to find the length of A. So we worked out how to do that a couple of videos ago. So that's 3 squared plus minus 7 squared plus 2 squared, and that's square rooted. Okay, so we've got a uh, square root of 9 plus 49 plus 4. So that's a square root of 62. And so a hat is going to be 1 over root 62 of A. OK? So you could uh, check this if you like. So if we put this into um, all together, so you could have 3 over root 62, minus 7 over root 62, and 2 over root 62. And then you found the length of this vector. You'd have 3 over root 62, so uh, squared, so 9 over 62. You'd have minus 7 over root 62 squared, so 49 over 62. And then 2 over root 62 squared, so 4 over root 62, or 4 over 62 rather, square rooted. 9, 49, and 4 make up 62, so 62 over 62 square rooted, which is just 1, okay? So we've made a vector that is going in precisely the same direction as A, but is now of unitary length, okay? And by unitary, I mean it has length 1. So this is the unit vector going in the same direction as A.